everything that can be tokenized will be tokenized. The Empire State Building will someday be tokenized. I'll buy 1% of the Empire State Building. I'll get every day credited to my wallet 1% of the rents, minus expenses. I can borrow against my Empire State Building holding. And if I want to sell the Empire State Building, I hit a button and I instantly have the money. What I think is more interesting is when we start to realize that we can start doing asset to asset transfers without going through currency. And not to say that we're not going to use money in the future, but I can imagine a scenario where at, at, at some point in the not so distant future, we all have wallets of digital assets that represent our stock portfolios, you know, what we hold in digital currencies, all of these things. And I could get into a taxi and pay for my taxi ride with like a fraction of a share of Facebook rather than paying in dollars. It's a good way to uh, um, uh, create fractional ownership in in, uh, in different kinds of assets, whether that's real estate or or um, or companies or intellectual property like patents. And uh, uh, great technology platforms are being developed to uh, make it easier for uh, uh, people to uh, create liquidity to assets of, of many kinds and uh, uh, and bring them to market. Right now, we have. Uh, so much capital that's locked up uh, because we don't trust the, the counterparty on the other side. What blockchain as a trusted global ledger uh, can do is free up some of that capital. Like with Latoken, where you're able to provide liquidity, illiquid assets, everything from works of art to, um, uh, to real estate. There's billions of dollars locked in in artwork and often in economic downturn, the holders of such assets try to get liquidity because they need the money. And when that happens, they have to sell it for pennies on a dollar. With a platform like, uh, like this one, it's great because you can tokenize it and then you have liquidity. As, as an investor, I, you know, I'm all for anything that creates liquidity because that creates really uh, solid market pricing. But the biggest thing that I like about this whole area is that it cuts out a lot of the cost. It cuts out a lot of the friction that's involved in that. There is no utility in paying 5% when you could spend 2% on getting pieces of the same asset. That Wall Street's cost in clearing securities and wire transfers and so forth is about 200 to 400 billion dollars a year. When Wall Street really gets this, they'll, they'll realize that, that that money is just being wasted and, and burned up. I think the tokenization um, and, and potential around tokenization of um, kind of all assets, whether physical or digital assets, is, is you know, one of the biggest um, promises of, of, of blockchain technology. You provide a more efficient capital market for these assets. You also have transparency. If we just have um, what you call a crypto economy, then, then it's like a closed system. We want to bring other things onto blockchain because otherwise it's just moving, it's, it's moving Bitcoin around. If you want to use it for anything real, it becomes a real economy. I think the key is to bridge it and to bridge it as soon as possible.